Hey guys, welcome to the next coding assignment. In this coding assignment, we're going to find the sum of numbers in a text file. So what we're going to be doing here is writing a program that calculates the sum of numbers read from a text file. So imagine that we have this text file here. As you can see, it has five numbers. 123, the number 4, the number 80, the number 77, and the number 2. So what we're going to need to do is write code that is actually going to read from this file and eventually give us the total of all the numbers in this file. Now, how will we go about approaching this? The first thing that we need to do is write code that is going to read the given text file. The next thing that we're going to do is create a string to keep track of each line read from this text file. We're also going to need a loop because we're going to be looping through every line of this text file. And as we're doing that, we're also going to have to convert each text line to an integer. And as we're doing that, we're also going to continuously add these numbers together upon each iteration. So we're going to calculate the sum of numbers upon each iteration. And last but not least, we're going to print out the sum of numbers read from the file. So without further ado, let's jump right into the code. All right, guys, so welcome to the coding portion of this video. What we're going to be doing here is writing a program that is going to get the total of all the numbers read from a text file. So in order to do this, the first thing that we need to do is create the file. And I've already created a file here, this sample text.txt. As you can see, this is a text file, and it has a list of numbers on each line of this text file we have a number so what we want to do is write a program that is going to read this text file and is going to read is going to actually going to read each line of the text file and is then going to take into account each of the numbers and then we're going to add up all these numbers in this file and then we're going to get the total of it so if we go back to our app.java class, what we first need to do is, first of all, we have to create an object that's going to hold the file that we're trying to read. So we're going to go about creating a file object. And let me zoom this in for you guys. All right. So we're going to create ourselves a file object. File, file equals new file. All right, and then inside of here, we're actually going to pass in the file that we're going to read. Sample text.txt. That's the name of the file. And these errors are showing up because we need to add our import. So we just hover over here and just import. All right, and I'm just going to add a comment so it's easy for you guys to understand. Create an object to hold the file. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is create an object that is going to prepare the file for reading. And what we need to do is create this thing called a buffered reader. Buffered reader. BR equals new buffered buffered reader and then we're just going to pass in new file reader and then from there we're just going to pass in that file object that we created earlier so I'm just going to import this and then for this, we're going to need to go about and add that um, that exception. We have to throw this exception on here because whenever we're reading a file, it has a potential to this is this exception could happen. So basically, when we go about reading the file, um, you know, Java automatically 
populates this with a file not found exception, which basically means that if this file that we've passed in is not found, then this exception is going to be thrown. So that's pretty much why this needed to be added here. And also, I'm just going to add some comments here. Object used to prepare file for reading. All right. And then next, we're just going to need ourselves a string. And I'm just going to name it st. Now, this is going to be the string that is used to keep track of the current line in the file. So track of current line. OK. Now, after we do that, what we're going to need to do next is create a variable that's actually going to hold the sum of all the numbers calculated. So basically, what we're going to do, we're going to read through a file, we're going to go through each one of the numbers, and after we take into account all those numbers, we're going to add those numbers up, and then there's going to be a sum, and that sum has to be stored in some variable. So just going to create that now, integer sum of text numbers. I'm going to set this to zero because it's going to start at zero. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going, to, we're going to actually have to create a while loop. And this while loop that we have is going to go through each line of the file and read the number. And it's going to read the number. And while after it reads that number, we're going to add the total of the specific number that is read from a line and add it to this variable here. So let's just go while then we're going to do something like this. All right, st equals br dot read line. And then we're just going to go not equal to null. All right, so, all right, so we're going to do something like this. And as you see, we're getting this error here. We basically just need to add that try catch. And I'll explain what's going on here. So, just all right, I'm going to add a comment here. All right, so to explain this, what's going on here is that we are actually going through the lines that are being read from this file. So as you see, we have a while loop, and then we have the st, which is going to be the string. The string is going to be keeping track of the current line. So we set the br dot read line equal to a string. Okay? So basically this br dot read line buffer reader dot read line is going to read this file that we have passed in and it's going to read the actual line. Okay? And that's going to be assigned to this um, st that we created earlier. And at the same time we're also checking to see if we we're checking to see if there is a line that doesn't have anything on it. So basically what's going to happen is that we're going to go through each line in this file until we find the end of the file. So it's going to go all the way through the file until it finds the exact end of the file. It's going to read every line. Okay. Now, after it reads every line, what we need to do is actually tally up the numbers from each line read from that file. So to do that, we basically just need to use our sum of text numbers, and then we're gonna go plus equals, okay? And then we're just gonna go integer dot parse st. All right, so I think this is pretty straightforward. 
and hope you guys understand what's going on here. So basically, what's happening is that I'm taking each of the lines from the file that is red, and basically is going to be added to the sum of text numbers. And this is going to continue all the way to the end of the, of the file. So, for example, the first iteration, we're going to convert this string that is read from this file into an integer. Okay, Then that integer value is going to be added to this sum of text numbers. And this is going to continuously loop until we reach the end of the file. Which is why we have this not equal to null here. All right. The next thing that we want to do is actually print this out to the console so we are able to keep track of what's going on. Okay, the numbers in the file. So we're just going to go system.out.println and then st. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to print. And this is pretty straightforward. We're basically just printing each line of each line read from the file. All right, and yeah, basically after that, we just want to go system out dot print ln, and then we're just gonna do something like this. We're gonna write out this little message here: the sum of all numbers in text file. in the text file and basically we we're just going to print out the sum of these numbers so just going to save this and if we zoom out of this everything is saved and what we're going to do now is simply just run this application so as you can see here what we have, let me zoom this in once more. All right, so in the terminal, or the console, actually, what we have here are the numbers in this text file. And to verify, we're just gonna go to our text file really quick. We have one, two, three. We have four, eighty, seven, seven, and two. One, two, three, four, eighty, seven, seven, and two. And then I just have this message here. The sum of all numbers in the text file is 286. So this is the exact sum of all the numbers that have been read from the text file. So I do remember getting this question during an interview. It was actually an interview question that was actually sent through email. But yeah, this was a pretty simple um, coding assignment. So hopefully you guys understand what's going on here and it does make sense. If you have any questions, like I always say, leave them in the comments below. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.